Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First off, I would like to wish everyone a happy new year's. Today is January 1st of 2021. I know last year was a bit rough on all of us, but uh, let's hope that this year will be a whole lot better and hopefully things will get back to normal. But either way, um, I'm making this uh, video now to review the Kobe tank set. I previously made um, uh, my first review of a Kobe set, and that was uh, uh, Panzer VI Tiger Tank. And I quite enjoyed the build, and I quite enjoyed the model itself. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and now dive into review of this set. And this right here, we have Panzer uh, III Medium German Tank. Um, I picked up both of those sets because I was interested specifically in this um, the scale which is 148 and it kind of matches to the chain scale which is uh, o, o scale so I was really interested in those tanks but either way here's this uh, Panzer III medium German tank so this is how the box looks up front it contains 286 pieces and again this is made by Kobe this is not a Lego um, this is a European company and this will be my second set that I'm building. As you can see in the back, we have a little bit of a stats on uh, this uh, Panzer III medium-sized tank. And we can see when it was serviced, you know, the height, the, the weight, the engine. And it seems like it doesn't have a crew size, but I think it would, it would be like four or five uh, soldiers that can fit in here. And you can see here, it's, it's made in Europe, specifically in Poland. And it's also compatible with other other brands. I'm assuming this will be compatible with Lego. And it has some glow and dark elements. So let's go ahead and get this this box open. Let's see what's inside. So go ahead and dump this out. And here we have an instruction manual, slightly bended, but no big deal. Should not be a problem. And this is all the parts. We got the track links. We got some custom, custom printed parts. Again, this is not exactly like Lego, so they're gonna be some different type of pieces that Lego does not have. And just go ahead and flip through the manual just really quickly. So let's go ahead and start start building. And once I get this built, I will give my thoughts and a little bit more in depth review on this set. Alrighty, so I have finished building 
Panzer III Kobe tank right over here. And before getting into the actual uh, build model, let's go ahead and go through the instructions really quickly. Just a couple words about them. Um, they are similar to the Panzer VI Tiger instructions. They are pretty straightforward. Um, clear, the steps are marked clearly. No issues here. Um, again, they are a bit different from what the Lego instructions look like. They do have some interesting splits within the steps. Uh, but, you know, if you follow numbers, there should be no problem with that. Um, there were also some interesting build techniques. I'm trying to go ahead and find one right here. I thought that was kind of interesting. Something that you will never see with Lego is that you will actually add some parts in the back in the back of a, of a, of a brick. And to me, that was kind of interesting. So I kind of want to point this out. Overall, the build was fairly simple, except for track links. Track links were kind of a little bit pain in the butt uh, to assemble. But uh, again, that was not a problem. It just took a little bit of time. And here, actually, at the end of this manual, the, there's more of a, a specific details and information on the Spanzer three tank. Again, um, like in addition to the stats, it gives you just a little brief on uh, what the tank is all about. You see Panzer three. It was used and start start to be used in 1941. Actually, this tank was um, heavily used during the Blitzkrieg in invasion of France. And um, yeah, it's um, it was mostly a support support tank to uh, to the infantry. And here we have in the back. Um, more of a similar 148 scale uh, Kobe tanks uh, that are part of the same War of Tanks collection. And here we have T-34, M4 Sherman, and Churchill 1. I haven't got any of those, so I am debating if I should get any more of those tanks. Right now, uh, I am pretty happy and satisfied with, uh, with the ones I got, uh, but we'll see if I'll get more. If you guys are interested, please leave a comment. And I can also pick up one of those tanks here and make more reviews. And this is what goes for this manual. Like I said, no issues with that. Also, I uh, want to point out that Kobe has been really good with um, all the parts being there. So I haven't had the case that the part was missing. So I actually had I included some extra track links and a few other smaller parts. So with that, that being said, that's that's really good quality control coming from Kobe. Um, also, one of the viewers asked me last time on the quality of the brick, and I can't really complain. The quality of the brick is really good. Of course, I'm a little bit biased uh, towards Lego. I've been building with Lego all my life. Uh, I never tried Kobe before, Kobe brick, but overall, I'm very satisfied. The model been pretty solid. I mean, nothing's falling apart, and then everything feels really good on this model also just going to give you a little 360 now since we're going into the model itself there are no stickers no stickers with this set which is which is another amazing really nice thing so all that you see here this is all printed elements so we have this iron cross we have some of them some hatches being printed and those again are all printed on a brick I do love like the detail, the, I like the wheels, um, something I guess you wouldn't be able to do with a, uh, with a, with a Lego brick, but then Kobe again, they have their own molding, so, are, so they are able to do something like that. This is, they do have this uh, glow in the dark, I haven't tried them out, so I can't tell if they really glow or not, uh, but this is supposed to be a headlights. And this is a seven stud wide uh, tank, so, and then again, this is 148 scale. So let's go ahead and compare it really quickly with another 148 um, scale tank, which I built actually last week. And this is Panzer VI Tiger. As you can see, this is in light gray, and this is in the darker gray. So maybe you can here see how they scale against each other. Of course, this is a medium sized tank, and this is uh, this is a large tank, so therefore, this one's going to be a whole lot better, a whole lot bigger. Just give you 
Studio 360. And of course, this one is also comes with all the print elements. I don't really have anything negative to say about the build or the model. They do represent the actual uh, tanks fairly accurately. Give you 360 on both of them. And let me go ahead and add, um, uh, this is one of the brick mini minifigures. So let me go ahead and add this here to scale. So you kind of can see what the real size um, of a tank is against the minifigure. So this is about the scale. So it does seem uh, a little bit off that the minifigure seems a bit larger uh, than the tank. But again, this is a medium sized tank. I think with uh, with the Tiger, this minifigure looks a little bit better. Again, this is this is Brick Mania. A little bit 360 minifig while we added, and this is Germany World War World War One, but also will work for World War Two minifigure. All right, and this this last thing I do want to have a little bit comparison in the kind of the whole purpose of why I do get this 148 scale tank is I actually am looking to have it part of my train layout. So this is my uh, Brick Mania S160, and I do have a flat car. So let me go ahead and see how that will look on top of the flat car. And this is kind of what I was going for. This whole idea of having a, this 140 scale so it can fit on my train layout. So here's the review again of Panzer 3. I hope you liked it. Um, please comment if you have any questions. Please like the video if you enjoyed the review. And um, bye for now.